Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I am running the wiring and hooking up the light bar up on top of the Tacoma. You know, the one that's right behind the hood that you can't see, right up there. So, let's catch you guys up. I've done a little bit so far. Uh, as far as the wiring, uh, up here on top, I've plugged in the light bar into the wiring that's going to run into the cab. And then I ran it through one of these holes uh, that's actually on the uh, rack to kind of line it up to run right down the edge here of, uh, of the truck itself, kind of keeping it hidden a little bit. I mean, from down here, once I have it tucked in, you won't even be able to see that unless you really look for it. Then I'm going to tuck it in right in this groove, hopefully. I'm going to kind of sandwich it in there. I'm hoping to do that without any kind of adhesive or anything to hold it. I'm hoping that uh, friction is going to be enough. Hopefully so. I guess I'll find out in the long run. If I have to, I'll put some caulk back there behind it uh, to kind of freeze it into place, if you will. Then I popped up this little cover thing here. It just pops up. Ran it down inside the cab. One note I want to give you if you do it this way. Of course, you have the hinge here for the hood. Now, you can run it on this side of the hood, the inside, or the outside, there's a little piece of metal. I don't know if you'll be able to see it right back here. That protects it from the workings of the hood, if you will. So I ran it on that side of this metal piece, and then came up here and just ran it right underneath this trim piece right here, underneath my tray. If you don't happen to have one of these, you won't have to worry about this part, but under my tray, and right up here where I'll connect it to power underneath my homemade cover, and uh, ground it right over here. So really, all I have left to do is uh, go ahead and tuck it in along here. Not quite sure how that's going to work. We'll see. I'm going to, I might actually use, I don't know, a piece of plastic, something that won't damage the trim work, and just gently tap on it with a hammer to kind of force it in there. And I mean gently. You do have a windshield over here to worry about, right? So I certainly don't want to get into that. Now, one other thing I want to mention, I did check the depth of this uh, groove here, and it's about, eh, about yay deep, uh, much wider or deeper than this wiring is going to be. So there's plenty of room for it there. It should fit in well. The only hiccup will be up here where it narrows a little bit. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see if I can tap it in there as well. And then the rest will just sit right beside the frame or the roof, if you will, of the truck here. Friction uh, down here should hold it in. So that's what I'm going to try next. Assuming that's a success, then all I have left to do is go ahead and hook up the wiring and we'll test it out. Okay, she is done. Um, I did test it. It does work. But I'm going to show you guys... But before I do that, let's take one quick look at the wiring on the top, just to button this up. There is how I secured it down. I zip tied it to the, a hole in the uh, roof bracket. Everything is behind this uh, area, so you can't see anything unless you really struggle to do it. Like if you look right up there. But otherwise, you can't see anything there. It's all hidden. I like that. Again, we have a little nub here. Eh. Eh, if you know of a better way, let me know. I'll be curious. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it on, see what it looks like. Wow. Now that is lit up. Awesome. All right, there you have it. Finally, after all this time, it's done. Uh, it wasn't too difficult. Um, just take your time. Use a little patience. Not that big a deal. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. It's uh, pretty impressive. Can't wait to test it at night. Uh, there will be some nighttime videos coming both on this channel and Rob Motive JT for all the lighting stuff I've done. I've just been waiting to get all of it done. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Mercedes-Benz and Rob Motive JT, all about that Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.